Head. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for the mid-afternoon update at TFNN. I posted a chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, we made that ABCD pattern, three drive to a top pattern up there at 43,000. Uh, we uh, went short at 42,800. We have a stop in. And you'll notice that last night's high uh, came in at uh, 422688. Uh, and our stop was at 427.88. Now we're down a little bit from that level, but uh, we want to send our prayers out to anybody on that uh, east, west, north, south coast of uh, Florida. Because boy, I, I watched this in the news. And my goodness, this is really, really, really amazing. We have friends in North Carolina that live up in the hills that have had so much rain. They've uh, it's just amazing what's happening. Uh, we've gone through many of these before. Katrina in 05, you know, we've been through Andrew, Kara King, Carla. There's so many of them. They make it through, but boy, it's tough, folks. It's not an easy gig, so let's uh, do everything you can. If you're in that area, try to help your friends if you can because it's a, it's a pretty big deal. Now, what we're going to do here uh, when we come up to the first break is we're going to go over what I think is the most important two markets that we're watching today even though everybody's watching stocks and gold and crude and all that but the ones that you got to pay attention to are the bonds and the notes because the uh, yield curve has gone wacko again and the two-year ten-year has flipped and boy that is not a good sign for stocks <clears throat> ordinarily however we do not live in ordinary times as the Chinese curse says so uh, we want to talk about that when we come back from this small break <clears throat> and then we will Excuse my voice, folks. I got a little couple of frogs in there. I'll try to clear it up before we get it to the uh, next segment because we need to go over some things. We've hit some pretty important numbers and a whole lot of things, and uh, the market is poised to, you know, really do. Uh, we could easily go a lot higher in stocks, folks. I mean, uh, the, all it takes is one really big bust here to the upside, and we could be looking at new highs in the Dow. And, of course, the S&P is not very far away, even the NASDAQ. I mean, all these things stopped right where they should have. And then we're going to find out if that's going to be the case. We'll cover that when we uh, get back from our uh, first break. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and stay with us. In the world 